Driving is a challenging task for anybody. It requires sustained attention and quick reflexes and processing data coming from all directions. But if you have ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, where you have difficulty maintaining attention and you're inclined to make rapid or impulsive uh, choices, then that can be devastating combination with driving. If you imagine, your mind is never at one place. It, you're thinking about five different things at 10 different times and trying to do, you know, eight of them all at the same time. It, it's really, um, you know, it, it's really complicated. What we are currently investigating are two different medications, both of which are known to be effective, but we are looking at how well they are effective during high accident rates uh, throughout the day. People with ADHD tend to have more accidents, traffic violations, cause more damage while they're driving because of the ADHD. Well, the simulator allows us to expose people to high-risk scenarios and see how they respond to those without putting them or anybody else on the roadway at risk. The unique element of this study is looking at driving performance throughout the day. And we're seeing how that driving performance at those different times are affected differently by the two different medications. When I'm driving on my medication versus off my medication, you can definitely tell the difference. For instance, I ran a stop sign in the simulator because uh, I was looking at writing on the side of a building. So it, it can be very true to life and uh, you know, versus when on medication. Um, you tend to not be as easily distracted by, you know, ooh, something shiny, let's look at that. This formulation is intended to provide that medication to the individual, the driver in this case, throughout almost a 24-hour period. So he would have the benefits of that in case, you know, he's driving late at night or getting up early in the morning and rushing to work. By participating in a clinical trial or a research study, uh, to try to get better treatments and better therapies out there. Uh, I believe that that's really a, a key to making sure that I can do my job better by helping other people.